Hey, what's up guys? It's Jordan with laundromatresource.com and I am excited because Nick Sheplo of Starchup has graciously agreed to come on and give us a little demo of his pickup and delivery and wash dry fold software that you can integrate into your business. He's gonna show us a little bit about how it works on the front end for the customers and on the back end for you and your employees and he's gonna walk us through it. Super cool, love, love, love everything that he's doing over there and I think you might too. So let's take a look at Starchup and maybe see if it's right for you and your business. All right, we're here with Nick from Starchup and he is gonna give us a demo of the Starchup software for pickup and delivery and wash dry fold. Right. What's up, man? How much, man? How are you doing, Jordan? I'm doing awesome. I can't wait to get a tour and a demo of your software. And I think it's really going to help a lot of people out, especially if they're looking to either add, you know, this functionality to their uh, laundromat or dry cleaner, or if they're just looking to upgrade too. So I'm excited about this. Absolutely. Um, I'm, I'm excited as well. It's always good to get it out there. I mean, I, I, love our product and uh i know most uh most of your viewers would too so uh excited to get it out in front and you know see uh see what you think <clears throat> yeah well, let's jump um, into it should i just go ahead awesome uh, so this is, uh, this is the, uh, operator facing side of things that it's, it functions as a point of sale, uh, delivery management, um, and, and kind of communications hub as well. Um, this is all web-based, uh, so, so you can access this from our website. If you go to the login page here, um, and you're in, uh, which means you can access it from anywhere on any device that connects to the internet. Um, so very versatile. You can take this on your phone, uh, iPad, uh, tablet, desktop, you know, whatever suits you. Um, and so there, there are a few components to the, uh, to the system. Of course, there's the point of sale that you're looking at now. There's also the customer facing app. Um, so you can see, uh, this is, uh, the demo version of our, customer facing app, but all of the apps, uh, that our customers have, uh, for instance, here, uh, with orange bag and the fold, they're all going to be branded for, uh, the business. Um, so your colors, your, uh, logo and, and all kinds of different customizations that you can add, uh, to suit what you're doing. Uh, in addition to, as you can see here, uh, the web app, there's also a uh, mobile app version as well, uh, which is all the great function functionality of the web app, um, but in mobile app version. So your customers can download your app uh, to their phone, uh, have it have it there on their phone. Uh, so you know, whenever they feel like doing laundry, they can uh, just tap one button, open up the app, and and place an order. Um, so really great for customer retention, uh, and, and, and just kind of having that direct line to, to your customer without them necessarily having to go to your website. Um, so, um, aside from that, we'll be, we'll be kind of going through everything, uh, using our demo app, but did want to show what it looked like, uh, to have, have that branded experience. Um, the third uh, component is uh, going to be the um, driver app. Uh, and that I'm going to see if this is great. So this is the driver app. Um, it's going to show you all of your uh, pickups and deliveries for the day. So we've got a few tests, uh, pickups and deliveries showing up here. Uh, you can tap into them, um, add any address instructions or edit those. Um, your customer can enter the number of bags they're giving you. So you, know, you can say, you know, two laundry bags, your driver then will get a, uh, it'll reflect that number here and they can uh, confirm that or update it if needed. Um, <clears throat> in addition to that, if, if there is, you know, discrepancy, they can hit the, uh, SMS button and text with the customer from here. You've got a, your, uh, your previous messages here, your thread, but you can text the customer here and say, you know, I, I'm only seeing two bags, but you said three. And a customer can text back and say, oh, the other one's, you know, on the back porch or what have you. Uh, and you can also call the customer from here as well. That's a really cool functionality, um, actually. 
Yeah, it's it's really neat. It's 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 helpful because it's a there's there's a lot you can do because it's a a mobile app, uh, the driver app. It's on iOS and Android, um, and there's a lot of functionality that you get with that. Um, and you, you know you got your mapping uh, solution here, so you can just tap that button in the top right, and that takes you to your map and uh, maps you to your next pickup. <clears throat> uh, one very uh, brand new feature we've added is the ability to take a picture on pickup. Um, so uh, when, when you go to pickup, you can actually take a picture of the, the customer's bags, uh, which are then sent to the customer via SMS as a confirmation. Hey, we picked up your bags. Uh, here's a picture of that. And, but it also gives your, your store uh, a little bit of confirmation of whose bags are whose. And, and when they uh, go into that customer's account, they're going to see uh, that picture as well. So um, just a little added security there and uh, communication with your customer. Uh, so that's on pickup and delivery, actually. Um, and that it just opens up right in your uh, right in your phone there. That's awesome. Um, scan, um, you can scan QR codes and barcodes on the bag. Uh, to associate the bag with that customer and and then scan out at delivery to make sure you're delivering to the right address and everything. <clears throat> um, so then uh, if we go back to the um, operator um, point of sale, um, this, like I said, it's all, this is web-based. So it's, uh, you, you access it from our website, but once you're in, uh, um, you can switch between which employee is logged into the system, just using a pin number. Um, employees can clock in and clock out here. Uh, they can count the drawer, um, as well, uh, send an email, uh, or, uh, print the, uh, the drawer count. Um, so all that employee functionality uh, is within the, the point of sale. Um, over here on the right, you're going to see the SMS inbox. Um, so you all your incoming uh, messages from customers are going to show here. Um, all of our customers' stores get their own SMS phone number. Um, so uh, all your automated messages, your pickup reminders, you know, uh, we're going to be in your neighborhood tomorrow to pick up. Um, or, you know, we're coming by your, your house to pick up. You can skip it. If you text back, skip, um, those messages all go from the same phone number, uh, that's uh, unique to you. And then your customers can actually text back and you can have two way communication with those customers, uh, here in your, uh, in your point of sale. And because this is, this page is mobile responsive, you can do this on your phone. Um, so you're getting notifications and, and able to really communicate in real time through your point of sale with your customer. Uh, this inbox also shows internal messages. So you can send messages to uh, different employees within your organization. Um, and those are going to show up in their private inbox here as well, um, which is a, another neat feature as well as uh, customer support issues that you can create uh, for customers. and, and then. Um, assign those to individual uh, employees that uh, maybe are in charge of, of resolving those issues. And then we have reporting on that. Um, <clears throat> aside from that, I mean, the, the, uh, the new customer, uh, new customer walks in, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you can collect whatever information you like here to create that new customer. Um, and then you can look up existing customers uh, from here as well. Uh, go to their account page, see order statuses, um, information about uh, their contact information, billing information, card on file. Uh, if they have, if they're part of a subscription, uh, if they're in your rewards program, um, all of that is is showing here uh, as well. Uh, any preferences that they have selected. Uh, their notes um, and uh, some stats on their usage. <clears throat> Over here, we have their active tickets, past orders, past transactions, which you can refund from here. Uh, more uh, customer communication via email and SMS, uh, and and their their past communications as well are going to show here. Um, 
And then you can create orders from here uh, if you like as well. Uh, if we go ahead and create an order here, uh, it's going to take you to the, the detail page here. Um, so this is where you're going to market in any orders. Um, uh, this is a feature we actually just added uh, yesterday is uh, showing all your notes and preferences down here. So if uh, you know the customer creates, say, an order in the app um, for delivery, and they say they're giving you these, you're going to um, create this order in the app and pick your days and times. Um, if they add a special instruction here, it's going to show up right here on your page. So you, you've got immediate notification of any, um, uh, like stain on dirt. Uh, so that's all going to show for you down here, uh, as well as any permanent customer notes and, uh, preferences that they might have selected. Then you can um, mark in their order up here. So you're, you see these categories up here, they're fully customizable. You can add whatever you want. You can have retail, which are going to be, uh, you know, things you sell over the counter or uh, you can have wash and fold specific, um, uh, you know, add your poundage here. Uh, you can use a scale to um, uh, plug into your uh, computer as well and, and populate that there. Uh, you can say who your folding agent is there. Uh, just a, a lot of different things you can track here, um, and then add that, and you know, print the the receipt afterwards. Uh, if you do uh, collect dry cleaning, um, there's a couple different ways to enter that, but uh, you can you know select uh, different information about the item, uh, add brand information, uh, starch. Uh, hang fold all this information. Uh, you can upload a photo um, as well uh, to an item uh, that you've marked in, uh, and that will save to that item uh, for for access later. Uh, you can um, add any upcharges or add-ons. Uh, if you're doing alterations, you can add those. You can note, you know, attention and replace a button on this one. Um, and then when, once that item's saved, uh, um, it's going to show up here on this ticket, uh, separate from your wash and fold ticket. Like I said, you can access that picture here. You can send an SMS to the customer, you know, Hey, uh, we found a stain, you know, if, if you've uploaded a stain, um, or we found a tear in your shirt, um, and that'll send that image to the customer as well. So, um, easy functionality there for that. Yeah, that's awesome. I, there's so much. Function. I'm like blown away right now by all the things you can do with the software. This is awesome. Thank you. Yeah, it's uh, we we built it to be very flexible and uh, and, and kind of fit your business model. Um, and uh, yeah, that's that's what we go for. Um, you can then once you're done marking in, you market processing, and you know move on to your next uh, your next um, order. Uh, one uh, pretty neat thing for the, uh, especially for laundromats, is our uh, um, wash and fold tracking system. Um, so you can set up all of your washers and dryers here, um, add a ticket number for your uh, any particular wash and fold order that you're working on. Uh, so actually, if we go back here, grab a ticket number. <laughs> and then go back to this washer dryer page we can enter that ticket number uh load that to the washer uh and so now this you know bundle of wash and fold is loaded to washer one and we record a time and timestamp uh and which agent is doing this uh and then we have reporting on that so you get productivity reporting on your um your wash and fold agents. So, you know, who, how quickly are they loading um, and, and unloading? And then also on your folding agents as well, how quickly are they um, completing their tasks? Uh, and so you can run full productive productivity reporting on all of that. Um, and then you also have a, a record of, you know, this, if you're looking for a particular order, you have a, a audit trail of where, which washer it was in, which dryer it went in. Uh, you have a real-time uh, view of washers are filled, which dryers are filled and such. Um, 
And so all that is um, uh, pretty neat uh, as far as productivity tracking. Um, if we go here to our orders page, we're going to see, um, let's see if that order that we just added, um, which one was that? So all of your, your orders are going to show up here um, on your uh, orders page. Uh, and then here we have our productivity or sorry, our production tracking um, statistics. So we've got how many pieces are due today uh, or pounds in, in the case of wash and fold. Um, and you see, so dry cleaning, the one we just marked in uh, is probably this one actually, but um, it shows how many are due today and how many are ready. So we've got zero for one. We can click in and see which one that is. Okay, this shirt, uh, and you know, go see why isn't that ready yet. Similar, same with uh, wash and fold. Uh, so you've you've got real time status of your production, and since you can track this from anywhere, you can log in and see how your, your production team's doing at any given time. Um, and some more stats over here, um, in addition to just kind of being able to you know bring up any order that you want to see uh, very easily from here. Um, I love just real quick, just to interject. I mean, I love how much control this gives you over, uh, what's happening with your business. I think, you know, a lot of people who are running wash and fold who have not got to a level where it's, you know, at this perfect, I mean, this just feels very like professional and, you know, you're tracking everything. You're keeping track of your business. And it just, I just love the control it gives you and the information and the insight it gives you about your business, about your, you know, your productivity, about how much, you know, what to do when and what's ready to go and what's not and why it's not and who was the one who was responsible for it and where it's at in the pro. I love, this is awesome. I'm just excited right now. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's it's uh, it's great, um, and you know we've gotten great feedback about how much more productive this kind of software can can make your business. Um, yeah, and uh, I, uh, I guess uh, looking a little bit more into sort of the delivery system, we we touched on the driver app a little bit, but uh, this is where you set up your your routes. Uh, so if we drill into our routes here, you can see, okay, this driver's got a route from this time to this time. Uh, if we drill into that, we can see, okay, they're covering this area. Um, obviously a, a fairly large delivery area for Matt here, but um, basically if the customer lives within this polygon that you set up, um, they're going to show up uh, or sorry, this route is going to show up for them in the app. So when we go to place an order here, these times and days that are being offered to me are uh, dependent on where I live. Uh, that way you can uh, really fine tune your service. Does it do that? It does that automatically? Uh, and, like on the know, customer side? Automatically. Yep. It, so the, the customer is only going to see the days and times for routes that are offered to them. Uh, That's awesome. On their look. Um, so, um, you know, you can split up your routes however you want geographically, have different drivers cover different areas or, uh, offer different, uh, times of the day, uh, to different areas and such. Um, that's all, you know, very, you can control how that works. And then your customers, as they're going into the app, they're only seeing the routes that you want them to see. And your drivers are only going to the areas uh, during the times and, and uh, locations that you want them going to. <clears throat> um, one other thing, in addition to the uh, um, some of the features we just talked about, as your route starts to fill up, uh, the system is checked constantly, uh, first of all, constantly optimizing the route. So changing your stop order to, to really fit the, the uh, what Google is telling us is the most efficient route. Uh, and it's also checking to make sure there's room in the route. So for instance, this route is set from 8 to 10 a.m. in the morning. Um, if I start to fill up and there's only maybe you know the last stops at 9.55, my driver's not going to be able to hit another stop uh, in that schedule. So the, if the next customer that goes in is not going to see that route available um, because it's been uh, marked full on the, on the back end. 
and uh, automatically. Uh, and so they're uh, just going to choose the next available route uh, after that. So that uh, helps you to prevent against, you know, over subscribing your route. Um, and then, you know, you can set up multiple routes at the same time and, and have different drivers share, you know, stops. You can go in and say, okay, you know, I'm going to filter by, you know, X, Y, Z day, uh, and route. And then, um, I'm going to select these four customers and I'm going to move them over to, you know, uh, the, their delivery to, uh, uh, from test route to, to Landon. Um, and that way you can really control, you know, which drivers have which orders. And, uh, if one driver's, you know, oversubscribed, you can, uh, move those, those orders over to your other drivers as well. Um, so you can balance things up that way. Um, here on a routes page, um, it just gives you another view of uh, basically what we looked at in the driver app. Um, and I'm not sure if we have any scheduled for today. I guess we can go back and look at um, one of the older routes. Uh, maybe not. Um, but this is going to populate with all of your orders for a given day uh, and time. Okay. You do? Okay. <laughs> okay, sweet. You like that one? Okay. You can play that game. Sorry. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so all of your stops are going to show here. Your driver is going to show here as well. Um, so uh, you can, and then you can track. Uh, I'm going to actually show in, in this uh, other YouTube video what this looks like since there's no data showing on this one. Um, I can't hear you. Uh, let's go. Here. And so here we've got, you know, your drivers located here. You got your timestamps over here of when he made these two pickups. Um, so you've got real time information of how his route's progressing. In addition to that, his customers are getting those same updates of uh, pickups and deliveries um, and, and that sort of thing. Um, so a lot of uh, control. Again, I mean, the, the theme is here is flexibility, customization control uh and the insight um, into you know everything you're offering customers you can customize all the different categories you offer all the different items you offer um within those categories uh pricing and such how they're going to show up in your app uh the fees that you're charging if you want a same day next day delivery fee uh your different preferences all, all of this is completely customizable um and so we, with that flexibility, because there's so many different ways to run a garment care business, uh, we just find that you know, offering, being able to offer customers the ability to run it the way they want is, is something that they uh, really appreciate. Can you tap is there a way to turn the phone down a little bit? It's pretty loud in the, in the side. <laughs> Let's keep it like... Sorry about that. <laughs> um, this is the uh, the COVID life these days with the kids at home all the time and trying to get work done. <laughs> Might might have popped their heads in here three times already. <laughs> yeah, no, I appreciate the the patience on your end. Um, yeah, so uh, I mean, any questions on anything so far? Yeah, um, no, I mean, you know, I I think the driver stuff and just how you have it all set up and how. You know, it's constantly kind of self-checking, uh, you know, it's not just routes, but also, you know, it's checking the times and marking it full when it's getting a little too close to the end there, when you're not gonna be able to make it or when the van's getting full. I think, I think all that automation is not just helps. I mean, it, it helps improve so much on your business, right? Driver efficiency, it helps improve, you know, even fuel efficiency, time efficiency, um, all of that so that you can focus on doing what your business is doing, right? You're not trying to figure out where drivers are and how to get them to the next one or which one they should go to next. It's all doing that 
for you automatically so you can focus on serving your customers and getting you know the laundry done and out back to the customer as quickly as possible so they have a great experience and and want to utilize your services again i just i just think that this takes things like up so many notches you know from where i've seen a lot of people running their their businesses it's like it is very actually exciting just to see the capabilities yeah, no, I, I really appreciate the, those are kind words. Um, and, you know, we're, we're constantly updating, as you can see, we're, we just added a, a slew of updates last night. Nice. Um, this is hot off the presses. Exactly. Exclusive. So we're, we're very much, uh, you know, just trying to push the product forward and, and keep adding, you know, any way that we can help you run your business better and, and grow. We're, we're very happy to do so. <clears throat> well, that's a huge thing in and of itself, right? Like when you're when you're working with a a company that has the ability to, you know, listen to its customers and then implement, you know, suggestions on how to help them implement their business better. It helps everybody evolve, right? Like it helps all the owners uh, when you are making improvements to your software, and it helps your software get better and more valuable you know, at the same time. So it's like a constant feedback loop where you're improving things for your customers and your customers are helping you know how to improve things so that you can improve them for your customers. And it's just, it makes it more and more valuable for everybody. So that's cool. And I love just seeing this list of all these new things coming out. It's great. Yeah. I was going to say, I mean, I can look at every single one of these and tell you exactly which customers asked for them. Um, and it's that that is how we you know determine what we build is uh it's all customer feedback because we're not operators and you know we i'll come out and say that right right away i know um you know it, it some people like to have their software being built by an operator who, who you know they think maybe knows the the business but we our software is built by our customers and we've get we have a lot of input that way we're kind of crowdsourcing the best features um, and you know, we do what we do best, which is product and, and software. They do what they do best, which is operations. And, uh, we kind of meet in the middle there and I, I think it works very well for us. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and even just like, I'm just kind of getting blown away right now by how much is going on. Just, you know, having done tiny, tiny, tiny bit of stuff, like back end stuff for some of my own things that I've had going on, I know, like all of this functionality and all the integrations that you have here is a lot of work and it's been a lot of feedback that I'm sure you've gotten from you know from customers to to you know let you know this is what is working best for my business how can you make it better or here's an idea to make it better and you you know you go and you like you said you do what you guys do best which is make it happen so that you focus on your part of the business so that they can focus on theirs. So there's something to be said for a software company that is developed by a laundromat owner, but there's also something to be said for uh, a software that is developed developed by software developers, but is crowdsourced as created by customers and owners. And I think that really shows here. I mean, just in this little brief part of the demonstration here, I mean, it, it really comes through clearly to me. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and we're, you know, different customers are going to want different things. Some customers might want more of a, you know, this is the solution. This is how we expect the business to run. We've had success with that. And, you know, you can adopt that model and, and grow with it. And that's one way to do it. We take a little bit different tack and say, you know, we think that, um, you know, we, we want people to come and, and basically build the business the way they want to build it and operate it that way. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a different type of customer, I think, but you know, it takes all kinds as they say. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is looking great just real quick. Uh, I mean, I'm sure that there are going to be people watching this that are intrigued by this and intrigued by the possibilities of this and how it can level up their businesses you know, what I'm assuming they can come do, do a demo with you and, you know, get a little bit fuller of an explanation, be able to interact with you and, or someone on your team and, you know, ask questions and, and all that. How does that, 
work if somebody's interested in this? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, just you can go to startup.com um, and hit the demo button up here, and you can schedule a demo with us uh, to walk you through and kind of talk you through the the process and everything. Um, you know, we also offer websites. Um, so we, we build SEO optimized websites. Uh, we, you know, resell hardware, but that's, that's not a huge part of the business, but we can, you know, help you, you get what you need there. Um, then we have, uh, various, um, plugins, um, add to AdWords, email marketing, um, uh, locker services, etc. So uh, a lot of other kind of stuff that on the periphery there too, that if you're, you're interested in, in different ways to grow. Uh, one thing I did want to mention, we, we have recently uh, picked back up a, an old project of ours. We have a, uh, an app uh, that is for the, in the laundromat um, where you can uh, actually uh, from your phone scan uh, barcodes and QR codes and um, mark in uh, uh, items that way, uh, kind of in a mobile fashion. Um, we're, we're working on some improvements there, but uh, it's something a lot of our customers are very excited about uh, the possibilities there. And uh, it's a, we see it as a real kind of frontier for uh, um, uh, laundromat productivity and, and washable productivity. So we're real excited about that as well. Um, and, uh, hopefully when we get that done, uh, we come back on and show it to you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I definitely love to see that. And I love, I mean, I just love, uh, hearing about people who are, who are throwing their time into helping laundromat owners and, and, you know, dry cleaners and other businesses too. But you know, my, I care mostly about the laundromat owners, but <laughs> I just love, you know, hearing how people are throwing, their creativity and their knowledge and their skills into helping people improve their businesses. And this is, I, I mean, I'm not even just, I like you as a person. I, you know, I consider you a friend, but I'm not saying this because we're friends. Yeah. I, I, this is, it's awesome. It's an awesome software and you know, it's doing some, it allows you to do some crazy, crazy things. Um, and man, I just, Hey, if you're a laundromat owner out there and you're looking to, you know, get into the pickup and delivery or wash, dry, fold, you know, this is, this would be something definitely to, to check into schedule a demo with Nick and, you know, ask him your questions, get that tour. The other thing I was going to say is, you know, there's, there's, um, there's a lot you can do with this. Right. And, and it looks like it takes some setup on the front end to get it all set up to how you want it and, and probably some tweaking along the way. How, how does that work? Cause it, I could see where this could be very overwhelming if I say, okay, I'm interested, but man, I, I don't even know where to start with it. How does that work? If I'm, if I'm ready to go on it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that's a great, that's one of our frequently asked questions. Um, but we, uh, we, uh, help you throughout the entire onboard process from uh, the, the day you sign up, we, uh, we can take all your customer data um, and all of your you know, price lists and stuff automatically import it um, into the system. So you're, you're kind of ready to go data wise. Um, you know, if you're coming from like an older legacy system or something, we, you just give us a spreadsheet with that info. We put it in there. We've got a full training uh, program uh, set up. And, you know, the way we look at training is uh, because our success is completely dependent on our customer's success. Um, and we don't feel that customers are going to really, they don't want to spend hours training with us any more than we, you know, can, can spend that time too. Um, so we don't feel like we're going to really take advantage of it. So we just make training basic, open-ended, you know, what you need um, until you're up and running. Um, you, you, it's all yours. And then, uh, support is fully included. We have a, a little chat feature in, in the point of sale here, um, down here. Uh, so you can chat our team, uh, that goes to a shared, um, support inbox that everybody sees. And then Matt, our uh, head of support is usually the first line uh, of support there. He's got like a minute and a half response rate or something during business hours. So uh, it, it's exciting to see that. Um, but yeah, I mean, we, we, we try to hold your hands and, and, you know, help you, help you fly out of the nest. And then once you get going, you know, hopefully you're only contacting us when issues happen. <laughs>
Yeah. Well, that's, I mean, I think that's awesome that the customer search is, or, you know, customer service or support is built right into the app too. Cause that, I mean, I see that as being one of the big obstacles to starting a pickup and delivery service and trying to integrate a software like this is that there's, there's so much that it could, it could feel super overwhelming for someone, but having, you know, even having a minute and a half response time on your questions is huge because I know a lot of times for me, I'm like in the moment, I'm trying to figure something out and I'm not going to be able to do anything else until I get it figured out. Right. Like I'm, my mind's just going to fixate on it. So having someone that I can reach out to and get back to me real quick, I, I just think it's super important. So. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's, uh, I mean, customer support Papa, and, and success is a, a top priority for us. So, uh, we, okay, there you go. Um, yeah, so it's a top, it's a top priority for us. And, and it is because we've built so much flexibility and customization into it there, it, it does get, uh, it couldn't seem a little overwhelming and, and complicated, but we, we help you set everything up in the way you want it. Uh, and then once that is set up, you're, you're pretty much good to go. And, and you know, day-to-day operation is pretty simple. Yeah, pretty cool. Well, hey, if you are interested in this, make sure you hit up Nick, uh, startup.com. I'll put a link down in the description. Click on that link. It's, you know, go, go schedule a demo, check out the software, see what they have to offer. And man, go, go 10x, 100x your business with pickup and delivery service utilizing a software like this that's not only going to help you get more business but it's going to help you optimize your current business um, through you know automation and the tools they have available so man go check it out nick anything else that you feel like you need people to know before we let you go when you when you reach out, be sure to ask about some uh, some case studies and customer experiences, and uh, you can hear exactly about those ten x hundred x experiences because uh, we've got we've got quite a few, and it's exciting. That's what I want to hear. I love that case studies. I love that. Well, hey. Nick, it's been awesome getting a brief demo. I'm sure there's plenty more to see and plenty more to learn about your software, uh, but it was awesome getting a kind of an introductory uh, demo. And if again, if you're interested, go startup.com, schedule that demo with Nick. Really appreciate you and everything you're doing for this industry and for giving me this tour and for inviting your daughter along to do the tour with us was awesome. Uh, but thanks, man. Really appreciate it. Oh, absolutely. I appreciate you having me. It's always fun. And, uh, you know, it's always just having a conversation with you is a good time. So, yeah. And we'll do more. And, and when you get that, uh, that new, uh, feature up and running, uh, for the, uh, mobile devices, we'll, we'll get you back on here so you can demonstrate that too. I bet people will be excited about it. All right, man. We'll, we'll talk to you again soon. Bye Jordan.